So, another question about the volume of prisms, and I sketched a cylinder, and although technically a cylinder isn't a prism, yeah, because for a prism all sides need to be flat, yeah, and for a cylinder, sorry, yeah, a cylinder, um, obviously you have curved sides and circles, yeah, so technically a cylinder is not a prism, however it works the same way, because you have two sides which are identical and parallel, yeah, which is the top circle there, and the bottom, all right, you see that, they are identical. And then anything in between, if I would cut it, let's say for instance here, if I would take my knife and I cut it there, I would get the same circle, yeah? So if I slice this one up, yeah, I will see the same circles as these two. So technically not a prism, however, to find the volume, it works the same. The volume, which is the area, of the cross section, let me just say C cross section, CS, times the length. Now, what is the cross section in this particular case? What kind of a figure? Is that a triangle? Is that, is that a rectangle? And you agree with me, that is um, a circle. And how do I find the area of a circle? Well, we know that now, eh? because that's an important formula that is pi r squared yeah, so that's the area of the cross section, and then I'm gonna multiply that by the length to find the volume of my cylinder. Okay, pi times the radius squared. The radius is four. Make sure you know what the radius is. Eh? If they give you the diameter, you divide it by two. But anyway, pi times the radius squared times the length, that times the height, that's that distance between those two cross sections. And this is, by the way, a horrible cylinder. You see that? I'm sorry about that. Um, times 15. Okay, equals, I only see numbers now, so let me just grab my calculator. Uh, I suggest you do the same. Shift, that one, that's pi times four squared, that's times 16, times 15 equals. And because we're talking about circles, uh, and pi has, uh, anyway, for us, an infinite amount of decimals, I'm never gonna exact answer, eh? 9822369. And what do I have to do when I do not have an exact answer? I have to round it to three significant figures. Eh? Unless we're talking about angles, it's one decimal place. But now three significant figures, so, one, two, three, that's my third significant figure. It stays a three or it goes up to a four. And that depends on that one. And indeed, it goes up to a four. So corrected to three significant figures, the volume is 754 meter cube. It's a big cylinder, by the way. Perhaps it's filled with oil or something. It's quite a large cylinder. It's the volume of this cylinder. Technically not a prism, However, you also, for a, uh, for a cylinder, take the area of the cross section and you multiply that by the height. Yeah, pi r squared times the height, volume of a cylinder, or times the length is the volume of a cylinder. Okay, I hope that was useful. Otherwise, you leave me a message and I'll help you. All the best.